everybody welcome back to another vlog so today is a lovely sunny 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 wednesday morning i don't even know what i was going on about then um and i just thought i would vlog because i have a free morning afternoon today because i was actually up bright and early this morning for a few makeup appointments um and i am now obviously home i have been home for around an hour and a half and i have just been editing and of listening to some music however a very exciting parcel has arrived so i am going to show you both i'm not obviously going to try them on because i am filming a haul but as i am still going to include it in this video oh no i thought the royal mail was walking past my house then they've never asked to have vlogs i literally see like all the delivery people so i i end up having to cut all of the footage out but yeah Anyway, so I am going to give you an exciting little haul. I'll try and place you down. I never really vlog in the living room just because there's often uh, people always in the house in the living room. Um, and like, I, I do prefer vlogging in my room. But I did have... Oh, wait a minute. Let's see. A Bowen tea parcel arrived for me. So I am excited because I have not actually ordered from Bowen tea before. Um, I'd like, I obviously have a couple of sets, but I've never actually ordered it for myself because I often have you know, I had those kind of sets, like presents, like for birthday and Christmas and stuff. I did have quite a big sale on, and I, I was actually very lucky to get the, the items I did in my size because the next day I actually looked on the website again and everything was sold like my size. Bone and tea basically, but owned by All Polly. So All Polly obviously does really nice quality dresses and obviously bone tea you do pay more but the quality is really good and they also wash really well and i think i must have spent around 50 the 55 pounds but yeah i am going to show you because i am excited oh my god the colors are beautiful yes so i've got a couple of sets oh my god i'm actually really excited i am praying these actually fit me all right so i have two different sets here oh my god i am obsessed okay so first set is the terracotta in an extra small so i've got the matching top and the matching bottoms and i always stick to an extra small in bone tea because all poly clothing is very small size and i feel like this bone tea is the same and um, you know, they do range from an extra extra small to a large oh my god but these are absolutely tiny I basically have these terracotta kind of shorts, they do look really creased, but it's got an elasticated waistband. Oh, it says bone tea on there. Yeah, there's the back of them. Yeah, they, they are quite short, and I think... How much were these all together? I'll have to put the price on the screen if I remember, but a lovely colour. I don't actually have a set like this, so I am really excited. And then I have the matching top, which I am obsessed with because... You can never go wrong with matching sets. And this colour is absolutely stunning. I'm obsessed. And here's the sports bra in an extra small again. It has the bubble tea on there. And that's the kid waistband. So if you'd like to see a try on haul, uh, please make sure to stay tuned for the videos. But yeah, I'm very excited with that because how nice is that? I love the, the colour and like it is the really good quality, extra small. Yes, yeah, so I'm very happy. I think this set actually probably only came to £25 or something. So if you think full price, like full price normally they're probably 50 quid so i am buzzing with that oh my god all pop all poly sale or bone tea same thing amazing and then this set it is probably my favorite because i do actually have a set from this range but it's like the like the longer version so i'm just gonna show you because this color is a bit of me like i am literally gonna be wearing this so nice, I am so, so happy that I had this in my size. Look at the colour. <laughs> Honestly, anything pink and it's mine. Honestly, look, so I think this could be Megan Grubbs collab. Um, and I think this could have been £18 in the sales, so like a bit, a bit pricier, but I mean, come on, the quality. So I do have like, I do have like a sports bra in red, obviously like a different style, but yeah, they do wash really well and so comfortable. This is a F small, so I think this is like a boob lift one. I don't have any tits, so anything to help my boobs grow, well, anything to help my boobs look a bit bigger, I'll, I'll need all the support I can get, you know what I mean? But yeah, 
So this colour is absolutely unbelievable and it is ribbed as well. And obviously I had to get the matching shorts. But these shorts look really long but I don't, I don't know. Honestly, blooming, blooming, blooming off the best guys. The colour is just a, a, another level, oh, I'm obsessed. Yeah. Oh, I am in love. Yes, yeah, so basically these are in the hot pink um, and these actually lift your bum as well. I mean, yeah, my bum is pretty alright, I'm not going to lie, I do have quite a nice bum. But anything to lift my bum as well is always a bonus. So, I am actually obsessed and it obviously says bone tea extra small again so i think for 55 pounds for the two sets i am over the moon as you can tell i i am probably the most excited you probably ever see me because i literally are obs obsessed with bone and tea and if you're watching anyone who works for all poly if you want to collab sometime i'm always here i'm one of your biggest fans like i am starting to get into my fitness as well hence why i have orders from bone tea because i also do have sets but i like to have the matching sets I'm just one of those typical girls who has to have everything matching. I know it's it's really stupid, but the new gym sets will hopefully make me more motivated. It's like I have been going on a walk in the past few days and doing workouts at home. The warmer weather has kind of made me feel a bit better and has been and has made me feel more motivated to do that. So yeah, I am a very happy girl right now. It's just as I was speaking about like being healthy and fit and stuff, I think I am actually going to be going to KFC. So like I can't. I kind of have like contradicted myself a little bit there, but I am thinking of film video because like I literally have a full day to do whatever I want, and obviously like, I don't have a boyfriend anymore, so I I am a free single woman. I have all the freedom I can get, um, and I just want to get as much footage out as I can really. Yeah, but basically, I've been putting all of, oh my god, I just like hurt my face then. I've been putting olive oil on in my never full bag because obviously like. Yeah, there has been a serious heat wave in the UK, like it was 30 degrees yesterday, or maybe even more than 30 degrees, like 32 degrees. Um, and obviously, it was really warm, so I thought I would kind of use a bit of extra virgin olive oil to kind of get the bag boosted up on the on the tan, and it has actually worked. It's gone very golden brown, so I recommend obviously genuine your leather handbags. They use a little bit of extra virgin olive oil, um, and it'll do the job. So, yes, I have just been uploading a video on on the youtube channel here it is i'll show you what it's actually processing at the moment if you can see the designer the bag and unboxing so make sure to watch that video yes but it's all going on on this channel at the moment but yeah so i i'm probably going to be going out in around i'd say maybe 15 minutes i will have to ask my mum if i can use the car because obviously i don't have my own car yet still um so we will just wait and see and see what I get to um, and I might actually film the haul now before I go so that's one video out, out of the way. Right so change your outfit, yeah, basically I, I'm not going to KFC anymore, I think I'm going to film that video next week only because you know what I really can't be bothered <laughs> obviously driving all the end of town it's a really busy part of town to get to as well so I am going to be sensible, but yeah, but honestly, thoughts on this set, so super comfortable, obsessed, like, you can't go wrong with a bit of all poly bone tea, you know? Oh, the box is falling. But yeah, so I'm home alone still, because everyone's... Yeah, my sister's actually finished sixth form now for, like, the summer, Um, yeah, but she's actually doing work experience at uh, a museum in Carlisle for, like, a week, so she's on day three out of five, so she's there. Uh, from that, I think she's... I think it's there from not, like half nine till three or something. Yeah, but I'm making sure to stay hydrated. I'm gonna have my pizza now and then I might have a walk into town. Right, so I'm about to go on my walk now. It's literally uh, five to one. So I am gonna go have my bag all packed. It has like my AirPods in it, the purse, the car keys, house keys, obviously, because like I'm obviously home alone. My parents have actually gone to somewhere called Penrith and like it is in Cumbria. Um, if like a walk or something, I didn't get an invite, I found that very rude, but you know what, I'll, I'll go for myself, so yeah, so here is the outfit of the day, it's barely sunny outside, but to be honest, it's it's still 22 degrees, so I don't need to bring like a cardigan or anything, because I'll be absolutely bloody boiling, so yes, I'm going to go out, um, 
hopefully won't get bit today because like, if you watch my evening routine I basically went for a walk yesterday because that's when I filmed it and these the lads in the car actually biffed at me and like it obviously makes us girls feel really uncomfortable when that happens so I'm hoping it will happen because otherwise I will be angry I'll get my fists out I'm joking but you know what I mean it, it isn't a good thing so yeah I'm gonna go I've got my umbrella because like it looks a bit cloudy but hopefully it won't rain right guys so I've been out for about an hour and probably even 30 seconds of me actually being out the house it basically I was just walking down the street after mine and this man was actually walking towards me and like, he kind of looked up at me and like, I've just thought like oh like he's probably just on his phone you know whatever um, and then as like, I got closer to him it was a car parked on the road and I just feel as if something was a bit dodgy because obviously like, why would you like he just seemed a bit of a seedy character pretty much it's like I was just on my phone minding my own business and like, I kind of went off my phone just in case something happened and like as I walked past him I was here and he was probably there and like, I literally saw him go like that with like his phone and like obviously take a picture and then I obviously didn't want to confront him because obviously what if he might have like attacked me or had like a weapon on him like I don't know and like it was literally 30 seconds from my house that I didn't know he might potentially watch my videos I don't know anyone can watch YouTube videos online anyone's got access to them so I was literally it's shaking a little bit like I turned around just like to double check who it, who it was because obviously like it obviously makes you feel uncomfortable and the girls especially this happens a lot to girls and this is the reason why girls don't actually want to obviously go places walk on their own um, and then I turned around after like he walked past and then like he was literally looking at me like as he was walking away he, his head was turned just staring at me it's like I was feeling a bit uncomfortable and then like, I start I was kind of worrying in case he was going to turn around and follow me so I just kept walking and then like I got to the end of the street he went to the end of the other side of the street and like he was still staring at me so like I was getting really nervous I didn't know who to call because obviously all my family aren't in Carlisle at the moment I was literally like to my mum oh my god yeah, this man was just taking a photo of me yeah, literally right by our house I was thinking oh my god like what if he starts following me oh my god it was so scary but if that's ever happened to you, honestly, you will know how nerve-wracking it is. And it's the fact it was literally right outside my house, which was a bit even more creepy. I, I, I've never seen him in my life. And he was just like, he this kind of mid-40s man. He had not very much hair. He was quite skinny in like a black hoodie. Like, it was really dodgy. So, it obviously has kind of made me like a bit nervous, but you just got to kind of, obviously, just move on and hope and hope nothing comes of it, as, as sad as that is. Can't do anything about it, but anyway, I'm basically sat in a park because I did try to go to another park, but basically all the schools have finished really early because like it is like two o'clock now um, and like there was kids everywhere. So I've actually gone to a park where like there's nothing about. Um... So yeah, but I'm in this place called Chances Park. I'll just kind of give you a little, a little tour. So yeah, isn't that bad? Yeah, but I've literally had to cut this massive bag. But I mean, it has been good because like, I've I've used my AirPods. I've got my water here. I really should drink more. It is 22 degrees, but it's quite warm. But mm. I just thought I would update you all because it was obviously quite a, an unusual experience. I don't think it's ever happened to me before. Um, and like he was, he obviously made it obvious, and like he definitely he knew that I knew because he was obviously just staring at me, thinking has she noticed? Like you know what I mean? But yeah. And I know I have short shorts on and stuff and like I have a lot of my body out but the fact that someone's taking a photo of you and it might not even be like your best angle and stuff I mean sorry, I mean I could have posed for him you know what I mean <laughs> in all seriousness all seriousness though if you are a male or female and you're thinking of taking a photo of someone without the consent they just don't do it because it's as creepy as anything so yes yeah, so that is what it's having on on my afternoon. I mean, to be honest, it was nice having like a little walk through town, though. It, it was really busy, but I'm just kind of sitting down to have a bit of a rest because I've, I've, I've been walking for like an hour now, so I am going to go and obviously get home. It'll take me like 15, 20 minutes to get home now, but it's a nice day. It hasn't rained yet, so I can't really go wrong. And it's currently 
or 20 past two actually so i should be home by three we've been home for a little bit now and as you can tell i've been in the shower i can't bother to dry my hair because i just can't be bothered having the warmth of the hair dryer on in the room because like it already is absolutely scorching hot anyway but i am actually listening to I am actually listening to ABBA songs right now, so I mean, the life can't be too bad right now. A little update from earlier, obviously like, obviously I told you all about the, the creepy man who took a photo of me. I didn't even know who he was and like I've never seen him before and he just seemed a bit bizarre to be honest. So I don't know, maybe like he wanted a photo, I don't want the reason to why, but I'm hoping it is a really ugly photo. and. Obviously, I never realised he was going to take one, but if I see him next time, I'm going to put my finger up at him because it'll be funny. But anyway, enough of that. This stuff happens sometimes. It could have been a lot worse. He could have started following me or, I don't know, like, they hit me or something or even worse, did something else. But it isn't the worst thing in the world to happen. But of course, it isn't a very nice situation to be in. But yeah, I am... I literally just chilling in my bed. I have just finished back some of my underarms, legs and a part of my down below area as well. <laughs> I'm going to be honest, it absolutely kills. I have not actually waxed that area in ages. I avoid waxing that because that's like the only place where I can't actually wax because everywhere else is fine but it just gets a bit too painful so I'll just rather shave and stuff, you know. But yeah, like I wax my legs all the time. Well, I would actually wax them all the time because I can have to wax. I can often leave them for like a month and for the better grow back, but underarms I wax every week. Um, it literally is pain free for me now. I am in my PJs because these are really comfortable. I'm pleased to excuse the state of me. I really couldn't care less right now, to be honest. Yeah, but these PJs are from PLT. They're so comfortable. Well, I totally forgot to end that vlog, to be honest with you guys. So I apologise for being a bad vlogger and for getting to vlog for the rest of the night, but here is the end of the video so if you guys have enjoyed please make sure to leave a thumbs up comment down below also subscribe because we are on the road to 4100 subscribers we are nearly there so please keep subscribing and i will see you all in my next videos bye everyone